friends welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog in this vlog I can already tell you it's gonna be a lot of um, party planning <laughs> going on I will be um, kind of doing the little get-together I'm gonna do for Jordan just something super small and um, actually have a birthday celebration to go to tonight that's what I can think of right now but to me, that just makes me super busy whenever I know I have to do stuff. My mom and dad are coming today, and I'm so excited. They're going to come for Jordan's birthday celebration, just for us to all be together. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to maybe go get them some little treats or something and make them a cute little basket to put on the bed uh, downstairs for them when they come. Just like a little welcome basket. I don't know. I just thought it might be cute. So I think I might go do something like that, just with some snacks and stuff I know they like. But yeah, I will bring you guys along. I'll show you the little basket, um, whatever I decide to put together. And yeah, just come on along the journey and the ride with me because there is no telling <laughs> what, what will happen with me. Y'all know. Okay, you guys, I have come back from um, Walmart, actually. I went to Walmart. I got this tray. Um, let me get in some light because it's hard to see. But this is a decorative tray that I have actually upstairs. It's really nice. I think I got it from Crate and Barrel. No, West Elm. Um, I've had it for some time. But when my parents come, I do like to kind of leave them with some goodies. I usually put stuff like here on each nightstand. And I still owe you guys like an actual room tour of this guest room makeover. But... We'll get to that later but i'm just gonna fill this with the goodies that i got and then i'll share with you guys how it looks and what all i did or bought for them okay you guys i just finished up the little tray this is how it turned out it's really cute um y'all this throw and it's not a little one she's a big one it was only six dollars it was on sale for six bucks so if that's online it's really cute um i got a cream color because I like neutrals y'all already know that but yeah it was on sale six bucks not bad got them y'all these cute mugs my parents love coffee so i just got them two mugs it says hello fall um and it was only five bucks yeah in the little front section at wally world got them each a bar of soap each some wipes i got the white ones because it went with the theme some water my mom likes dasani not really a fan but whatever it's not for me um little facial tissues some exfoliating gloves and i saw this sugar scrub that i thought was um would be really good because it actually smelled really yummy and i got this little candle here because it was on sale it was only three bucks and y'all these little um toiletry bags just a little tip what i do whenever i fly business class for work i just keep the extra little kits because you know there's like at least a toothbrush and toothpaste in here some other little travel toiletries and like an eye mask and socks and so i have one of each for them and then i got some of their favorite little snacks my mom loves turtles dad loves reese's and snickers and mom likes caramello old school treats <laughs> and then my dad likes flaming hot cheetos although he probably shouldn't have those he also <laughs> likes cheese puffs and then my mom loves sour cream and onion pringles and so do i i actually also got them my dad likes a and w cream soda i got him one of those and then my mom a tahitian treat but they're in the fridge i'm not gonna sit them out but the water can stay out but yeah that's how it turned out so i'm gonna go sit it on the bed and show y'all how it looks oh my goodness y'all the way i am rushing is ridiculous um we are wearing you can't even see it just some black jeans i have not decided on the shoe yet uh and this little blazer with the sleeves rolled up super basic and simple but i like it it's just it's just chill because yeah i mean it's a birthday dinner but i don't know i'm just being me toya anyway <laughs> I will see you guys there. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out the strong. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty.
this is gonna happen. Hi guys. <laughs> I sometimes hate how close this camera gets and I still don't know how to fix it. But hold on, let me see if I can find somewhere to sit you guys. I'll try and make this snappy. Um, it's late. My parents are here. I'm so excited. Hold on, let me straighten it out. Oh. Okay, maybe that's okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. So, well, I just got back not too long ago from the vault um, or the bank. I think it's called the vault, the bank. Either one, maybe. But anyway, it was amazing. It was so it was so good. It was such a vibe. You guys saw how pretty it was in there. And those of you that live in the A, you may not think it's that nice, I guess, because it is off Bank It, Donald Lee Hollowell. But it's actually a really, really nice in there. And the food was amazing. And the drinks were amazing. I had two, I think they were called Millionaire Margaritas. So, so good. It was like the perfect mix of alcohol and I think it was strawberry puree in there. Just mm, divine. And y'all saw the sugar rim. So it was just a really, really good drink. Y'all, the wings, those wings were so good. They had a nice, they were like a honey something, honey glaze something, had like a little bit of a spice to them, but nothing crazy. And they had a nice crisp to them, like a crunch, but they were still like soft inside with a nice crunch on the outside. I don't even know how to explain it, but they were so good. Initially, I was going to share with everyone, but once everybody tried, I was like, yeah, can I get, get some more of those? Um, they were really good. And then I had for my entree the, I think it's called salmon and crab fried rice. It was so good too. I absolutely loved it. And I know everyone doesn't like, well, if you eat meat, and I know everyone doesn't like things well done, but I do. <laughs> and I'm telling y'all, if people know how to cook properly, there is a way to make things well done without them being dry. <laughs> Trust me. I like my steak well done. Um, and there's this place we're going to too. And I just want to make sure my steak is the same way. But there's a Cajun ribeye I think they have at Morton Steakhouse. That thing right there is amazing too. It's expensive and I usually share it with somebody. But... Um, I can never eat it all but it is so good you can definitely get that one medium well or well and it will be so juicy and tender while still being done I had the the salmon it was so good and it was cooked just right the flavors were great it was just a really really good eating experience and dining experience and like I said the vibe in there was so nice I love the prettiness of it all like the marbly kind of like floors and walls and we got to go inside the vault and <laughs> so the manager came and that's where we took a few pictures and just hung out in there for a little bit it was just really cute just a really cute concept I really liked it actually so I would give it a nine and a half out of ten I really don't have anything to complain about why am I not giving it a ten out of ten because I feel like there's always some room for improvement with anybody right <laughs> um Okay, maybe 9.75 out of 10. Because even our server was great. She had no complaints. She had a great positive attitude. She recommended things. Everything I ate, she actually recommended and it was great. It was delicious. Um, they do charge 18% gratuity onto your bill for like the kitchen and the servers. And so she did get a little extra from that too because she was great and had a pleasant attitude. But yeah, she had a pleasant attitude. So that gets you very very far in my book so the server was great the manager was great the vibes were great and the food and drinks were great so you guys should definitely check that out i really enjoyed celebrating kia's birthday with the fam loved it and yeah i'm about to take the makeup off shower and get in the bed <laughs> anyway i will see you guys probably tomorrow yeah because i have a little bit more planning to do for jordan's birthday again nothing big my parents got here today too um so excited and they love their basket 
All right, y'all. Good night. All right, good morning, guys. We are going to. Where? Oh, no, it's a Sony. Yeah, it's. I don't know. It's, I don't even know what kind of lens this is. 3.5 to 5.6. Hold on, it says stop. Ma, don't walk yet. Girl, I was just. You don't think I know that. lighting is a little weird i haven't talked to you guys since toast but i just wanted to give you a little update i've been running around a little bit and got like all the balloon stuff together all of jordan's gifts so basically i'm just doing like a little mini staycation we're gonna stay in the city with some nice views um i'll link of course where i book through and I'll give you guys a tour, of course, of that place once we check in tomorrow. But her birthday is on Sunday. We're going to check in on Saturday and stay till Monday. It's like a two night minimum. And yeah, because it's a surprise, I'm going to do all of her balloons and stuff tomorrow. So had to get all that together, got a pack and all that stuff. So I've been just kind of ripping and running you guys today. <laughs> but um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. She's she doesn't know, so it's kind of a surprise. And it's just me, her, my mom, and my dad. We're gonna play some spades together, Uno, some other board games. We like Monopoly too, and just have like a game night in our PJs and just hang out. We're gonna have dinner tomorrow night and also dinner on her actual birthday. So it should be really, really fun and we'll see how it turns out. But I'll keep you guys posted. Okay y'all, so this is the trunk. <laughs> For now, I uh, just have Jordan's gifts over here. Sorry, it's dark. And yeah, the balloon stuff. And then that's like the decor that I have inside. I, sh I should get a light on here. I have a light, but <laughs> it's upstairs in the house, y'all. But yeah, I just have this stuff in here for now. And I think a suitcase, a couple of it here. And then my parents in there because we only want to drive one car. And then Jordan will be down, down there. So yeah, we'll see how it turns out. turned out I have balloons up there at the top mom of course helped me a ton I put a two and zero on top of the balloons we put balloons all over the floor and all of her gifts are right here so excited for her to see and then most of the balloons are going towards this way because of the air but still cute and then a nice view of the city there um, I think She'll like it. 
<laughs> I hope so, anyway. It's my birthday! You love it? Do you love it? Yeah! Do you love it? Look at the balcony. Go outside. It's so cute. Cool. We gotta do it the other way. There you go. Y'all, it's getting top four bus. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Miami. I feel like I'm in the yams. Aww. I you see BOA. If I see BOA, that means JR, JJ is this in your back. Look, you're down there right in front of the fox. Right in front of the Yeah, it's giving it. Okay, come inside. There's it's something else. Yeah, I'm going to show you room. Well, we're real slick. Look at that beautiful. Yeah, the light. It's like your birthday, too. It's all our birthday. Okay. Yeah, look at <laughs> Granny and Papa's beautiful this room. Is where we're gonna be sleeping. This is cute. Y'all should live here. <laughs> oh, God. This is <laughs> nice. This is nice. Give it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Big Sweeney. Big Sweeney. Yes. Period. Okay, where are you? Yeah, you were looking like a dog. Okay. You were looking like a dog. <laughs> All right, come on so you can see your room. My favorite people. Oh, I don't have my own room. Yeah, you don't have your own room. Girl, I'm excited. I think about at night. Like, it's gonna be a vibe. Yeah, it's gonna yes, be a vibe. Oh, it's gonna be a vibe. Yeah. I'm 20. <laughs> 19 right now. But yeah. I'm 20, y'all. Like, this is a vibe. Yeah, like, this is beautiful. cute. I'm done. Is this my room? No. Keep uh, going. 72. That's to the right. It's, wait, no, don't turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Oh. And okay. this is where you're gonna The start. light, like, hello, it's giving. <laughs> okay, you can start. Okay, come Which on. Which one is it? It's this one. Back oh, here. Oh, I'm tripping. It's oh. three bedrooms? No, it's oh. two. We're going to share. Okay, knock, knock. Hello. <gasps> what? <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> You're lying. Beautiful. What? Oh, You're happy lying. birthday, bestie. Happy birthday, bestie. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's my birthday. Happy birthday 
dear Jordan. Careful of the wind. Happy, <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. About to play spades over here, mom's over here. <laughs> Death. Oh, <laughs> it's some of them are hard, Benny. Talk to and me. This is my hand. What we got? Like, mm. y'all need to learn how to play the game. What we got? How many, how many books y'all got? Oh, it's not giving. Ooh, mom, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. That's it's my giving, partner. It's giving one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Wait, no, wait. Oh, nope. How many do you all get? Oh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y'all see the score? Yeah, go ahead. Of the you got five, Come on, Ma. The score is 525 to 480. You see the winner? Tink Tinks, we went to 500. Poor oh, things, you, you were close. Y'all see that? See that negative, though, boy. We <laughs> got him right there, boy. Negative. <laughs> so it'll be a different story to bar. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, maybe y'all can see me here. I was just taking this top off. <laughs> we just got back from Saints and Council. Jordan wanted to, y'all crooked, sorry. She wanted to go there for her birthday uh, today. So we went there, we just got back to the place we're staying. Um, and yeah, y'all, I'm pooped. <laughs> Tomorrow is Monday and I'm just ready to chill out, pack everything up. Um, but Jordan really enjoyed her birthday weekend and that's all that matters. Just small and sweet. And I've really enjoyed just celebrating her. Anything to make her smile, you know? But getting ready to go night night, get ready for the bed, shower, take this face off and put on some PJs. And then I will probably pick you guys back up after we're leaving. Yeah, I got a lot of balloons to pop. Most of them have fallen down, the ones that were helium. But except the happy birthday Jordan part, I have to pop all of those. But you know, we're thinking about playing my mom and dad in another round of spades because y'all saw we won last night. <laughs> so of course we've been talking smack because on that negative, Jordan was clowning, talking about y'all couldn't even make four books. <laughs> So my mom is like, they got to renege or redeem themselves. They got to redeem themselves. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to you later. Y'all mm -hmm. put on my PJs. Took the wig off. Did not even get in the shower. <laughs> uh -oh. Stinky. I'm not stinky. Bestie took the wig off. With swiftness too. Or I feel like all this glue. Yeah. I mean it was cute. It was cute. Maybe like a one day thing, like you know, like an like, event. If I get a glue this one. What's I, I think your hair is beautiful and you should just wear the beautiful hair that you have. Whatever. Mm. She the same one that said she was gonna try my do it. Oh, I mean, it was a cute right when we get it done. So, let me ask you guys I need to pop all these balloons. Oh, I said I should show y'all, but basically, all the balloons I've already shown you, I need to pop them. This is strong. Smell like liquor. What? This rubber alcohol smells like liquor. Y'all are so not on your good. Hold on. I don't know how y'all folks do this. I cannot. Oh, the wigs. I just felt like she did really good on the braid down, though. Look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because exactly. Jordan's hair is nice and thick. She thick. But yeah, at least I still got some edges. I was a little scared about that. Okay, y'all. So, do if you pop a balloon with a pin, my mom says it's not as loud. It's like because I take so scissors and a knife and just stab them all. <laughs> Let's see. Let's actually go see. Actually, let's. Oh, hold on. Y'all about to come off. Okay, got a low light. Let me turn some light up for y'all. Okay, so these are the balloons. I've gathered them up here as well. Now these. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the ones with freaking confetti. Girl, how? Cause I just popped how? it. How? That's still loud. Y'all, this is too much. How they going down? Uh uh. Tell the people. Those two. Um, please tell the people how you just how you just call yourself fixing. Yeah. Come on, Jordan. No, my uh -uh. <laughs> Got it right here. Look. Uh uh. God, what? Ma'am, who's who's gonna take that much time to pop? Well, yeah. Oh, this is I see y'all. Huh? Yeah. Hello, friends. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's been it's been a few days. <laughs> it's been a few days since Jordan's birthday, but um, I did want to come on and tell you guys about Saints and Council. Um, so it, it wasn't our favorite. None of us had been there before, and we were just trying it out. All of our food was salty. So yeah, it was salty. My burger was salty. Jordan's pasta was salty. I think my mom and dad said their food was pretty salty too. So while well, it was definitely a nice vibe and it's nice in Colony Square, which they also charge $35 for valet parking. Like, anyway, <laughs> it wasn't the greatest experience. So I definitely give Saints and Council probably like a five or six out of 10. Yeah, I'm good if I don't go back. Um, maybe I just had a bad experience, but I'm not, I'm not trying to go back, but I did want to give you guys a little rundown of the place. Cause I don't think I did. If I did, then I'll probably cut this out. But if not, here it is. So that pen, it was not a penthouse, but it was like a high rise condo with the views of the city. The views were amazing. I did that through Atlanta luxury rentals. I'll leave the website below. It's not sponsored or anything, but y'all know I'm good for finding a deal. I love affordable luxury I'm going to find some kind of way to get a deal on something that's nice and not pay super ridiculous. But like at the St. Regis, which is a really, really nice hotel here. It's a five star hotel. The rooms are roughly on average about $800 a night. Y'all, I got that whole two bedroom um, high rise. I'm going to call it a high rise condo. It's like in a it's in a building where people actually live, but they have um, a lot of different units um, in Atlanta Luxury Rentals. And y'all, it was only $300, $350 a night. That's it, $350, which is cheaper than a hotel. It's cheaper than the Four Seasons. It's cheaper than if you want to have a nice staycation, but like in a hotel. And it was pretty nice. Um, and then they don't have a ridiculous cleaning fee. I think the cleaning fee was like $170. Bucks. So it was definitely under, I think it was like $900 the total for two nights. They have a two-night minimum. And we stayed in Sunset Boulevard. So if you want to stay in that same unit, you can do that. And I will say, the only thing I will say about the unit, you know, and I've realized that everyone's not like me, and we have to realize that too when we go places and people that do Airbnb, I'm sure they realize this too. Even if you have a home or a property and you rent it out, everyone doesn't live like you. Everyone's not going to be respectful of stuff that's not theirs. So like the bed on the the bed frame the beds were nice and clean i'm real picky about that checking the sheets and things like that so that was fine it it was just the bed frame instead of upholstered material and on the side near the window it was a lot of bleach drip stains from maybe they were trying to clean it there were stains there on the bed frame part and they just wouldn't come out um the 
the toilet paper holder. It's like the one bar one and it was kind of flimsy, which I had that experience too in my Airbnb in Tulum, but it was still a really nice place. But I'm super picky. I'm very much a neat freak. <laughs> I think I might have a little OCD. I always call it acute, but it might be full blown. Um, and then like there was like a long scratch, like deep scratch in the kitchen area. Again, this is so picky, but I'm just telling y'all the, the unit isn't like it's almost perfect. I'll just say that, but it's not perfect. But it's just from you can just tell people who used it before. They just don't care. The people as long as you, they're very communicative. Um, if you talk to them and need something, I just had them via text. It was a very secured building, um, like right in the city in Midtown. We had a view of the Fox. It was nice at, at light, nice at night. <laughs> And it was just so beautiful. I'll insert a photo too of like at night. It was just, well, you guys probably saw it at night too. I'm sure I showed, but it was just a really, really nice place. I would definitely stay there again if I did a staycation and just wanted somewhere close in the city. The birthday was nice and it was just us. It was just my family. Sometimes those low key birthdays are really nice. Um, I just appreciate my parents for helping me with the balloons. I did get all of those balloons, y'all, from Shein. Why can't I talk today? So they were super affordable too. Um, I think the only thing I spent money on, I guess, was the pump or the tank. But even my air pump, I got it from Amazon. I got one that was like on sale for like $12. So I will link um, below what I use for Jordan's party if you're planning a party and you need like that setup that I used. But she loved it. And I'm so happy she was surprised. And yeah, we just had a great weekend. So I've had a lot of birthday stuff going on. It's probably a lot of birthday stuff in this video, in this vlog. Um, another friend's birthday, Kia's birthday, and then Jordan's birthday, and now my friend Sunday, her birthday. Um, we're going to just celebrate this evening, just at dinner. So really early. I'm going to take a little break and go run some errands because, you know, as an adult, that's one thing we do. We run errands. So I'm going to go run some errands, probably pay some bills. And um, yeah, I'll pick you guys back up a little later today. Okay, bye. So I am, oh, let me get away from the wind. So I'm getting ready to go into the restaurant. I have to show you guys my outfit later, but it's just this cute, like, organza top and some jeans and some heels and then my little, just neutral bag. Um, but yeah, going in for dinner and it's just a cute little, like, it's called, this restaurant called Capers. It's just here in actually Kennesaw. And we're going to go and just have a little dinner. And that's it, and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards on some home. Okay, bye. Hello, friends. So I've made it back home. I'm so sorry. I was going to do everything in the car, but it's late. I ate so much. Um, ate at Capers. Really enjoyed it. Um, had a blast. Just laughing. It's always good to be around like family friends. That was that was a lot of fun. Um, but y'all, I'm so stuffed. <laughs> and y'all, I need to, I gotta take these nails off. I need to get them redone. I do go to actually Flair Nail and Beauty Bar. I do go to Taylor. I actually found her from Aaliyah's Face uh, YouTube on here, here on YouTube. Um, and I love Taylor, she's awesome. But that's actually the only person I've been going to. Although I've gone, I mean, I would use go to someone else, but I really like Flair and uh, the Little Nail Kitchen. They kind of go together. But anyway, y'all, I need to soak these nails off. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I have done my own nails before. I'm trying to think if that's what I'm going to do because... Tomorrow, I really want to work on trying to figure out. I've been looking at stuff to do for the next haul for you guys. You guys know I love styling hauls. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do H&M next, maybe. Or, yeah, it'll probably be H&M. I like a lot of stuff from H&M. I love H&M as well, you guys. And their stuff is really affordable. I definitely go there for a lot of work wear. Um, and some cute casual wear, too. But... Yeah, I, y'all, the nails, the reason why I love, these are my birthday nails. My birthday was August 30th, you guys. It is September 29th. So they have lasted four weeks. And let's, let's take a look at them. Let's see. Let's see, is it gonna, yep, yeah, there we go. Let's see. They actually are doing quite well. Yeah, but y'all saw them. They're, they're, they're grown out. Yeah, real bad, real, real bad. <laughs> but, 
I'm I'm thinking I'm going to soak them off and then maybe I'll get them done tomorrow. And then I'll probably end up ending this vlog. Or maybe I'll start a new vlog. Maybe I'll end it here because it is the end of the week and I've done quite a lot of things. Lots of birthdays going on, but I've enjoyed it. I've definitely been very busy, but I think we'll go ahead and end the vlog for this week here. I thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I really do appreciate the love and support you guys show me here. And I just, I'm going to always say thank you because I'm very appreciative. So thank you again. Uh, vlogging is definitely a different beast. I'm not the best, <laughs> but I just, I film what I can just to show you guys a little bit, a little insight into, you know, my life and just some of the things that I do. So coming up soon, I will have, um, I will be doing my beauty room closet tour pretty soon, like within the next week i'll probably do another haul first i'll probably do this vlog i'll start another vlog probably tomorrow it may be a little bit of maintenance um a maintenance vlog but yeah i do think i'm gonna soak take these off and soak them but yeah we'll start the next vlog with that <laughs> for sure but yes thank you guys so much again and i will see you guys in my next one <laughs> bye <laughs>